There we go. Something like that. I think so. Can we? Oops. Can we go super live? Now you guys can see this. You guys are going to see me draw some stuff. I hope you guys can see it. I don't know which way is better. Probably this way, huh? Oh, this way's better. Yeah, I have to move my my chair. Oh, there we go. I think this is the this is the way to do it. Let's go. So I'm gonna be using a micron. Check it out. Micron pen with a little 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 tip. It's a what is it? Zero eight. I don't know if this is millimeters or something. Who knows what it is? But uh, let's do it. Okay. There we go. So what I like to do, these are for my for my watercolors. What I like to do is is really just get something started that allows me to have a little bit of structure, right? Just a little bit of structure, but also also keep the looseness that I'm looking for. I'm always looking for something loose, right? In order to create something loose, um, you kind of have to play around with line and, and form. It's just a little tree. See? So, so you, you, you put information, just not all of the information. You know? You don't provide all of the information and and that allows when I'm when I'm ready to to put watercolor on this. Look at this callus from, from the holding the brush all day. Isn't that crazy? This is, this is, you get this type of callus, it's nasty, huh? From holding the brush about 8, 10 hours a day. <laughs> yeah. So you want to give all the information, but not everything. Okay. It's very crucial to, to understand that, that the information is important, but you don't want to, you don't want to give all the information. Here, let's try it. Let's try something else. I got enough paper here. Let's try it anyway. Hey, Dad. Yeah. I try a new one with, with some trees that are, are sort of like uh, birch trees, okay? What is it, Igor? Um, once I get this set, I can actually read something. You need to be asleep. Yeah. No, but I just saw something and I need to test it out. Look at that. That's one of my trees, okay? So, I know that birch trees have... Right, little indentations in them, right? And, and you can play with this. You can definitely play this, this idea, but look. Look. See, sort of where the lines are going, this is something that I learned from watching Van Gogh's drawings. Where the lines go, this is not something that I learned from a, from a, a teacher or a mentor or, uh, or a YouTube video. Uh, not that there's anything wrong with that. You can definitely learn stuff in videos just like this one. But uh, where the lines go, the lines help you sh sh sort of shape the wood, right? 
And, and it's not so much just about about. Um, <laughs> not so much about. Um, um, shadow, but but it's got to do more with with uh, form as opposed to shadow, right? So you play with the form. You play with the line, and and that helps you bend the wood any way you want it to. Okay, so let's do another one. Here's another one, okay? And then there I go again. These are some birch trees, okay? Look. Look at that. And then I'll do the same thing. Look, see? The, the, the lines allow you to twist, depending on where you want it to twist. You want the wood to twist. Then I'm gonna do something like this. Then you can even go cylindrical. Right? Do a little something a little more cylindrical. There's another one, and then I'm gonna do something here. With a little fork, right? A little fork right there. And then this one we can do a cylindrical. Look at that. Look at that. This is how we're going to be doing this. And it won't impede because it's lying, it's lying drawing. So what many times what we try to do as artists is that we want to set everything up first. We want to make sure that what's what's before, what's after. You don't really want to think like that so much because it'll impede you from, from being spontaneous and creative. Real, I think real creativity comes from being spontaneous. It doesn't really come from because you, you thought about every single, you know, branch and and Certainly that, that has a has a role and you can definitely do that if you want to. But it's not it's not the end all be all. Okay. Now we can we can do another one over here. When I started drawing more dynamic, I realized why uh, cartoonists have those those little turntables. You know, huh? turntables, wicked, wicked, wicked. No, <laughs> but because it's dynamic, right? The drawing's dynamic, and I could see uh, why those those cartoonists and Walt Disney and you know those 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 uh, Disneyland cartoonists have those little tables that it makes so much sense. Because you need to you need to you need to make the drawing dynamic. It's not it's not linear, right? It's not just one way. And it really just happens to exercise your imagination. As opposed to, well, I saw this branch in a in a photograph, or I saw this branch in a, uh, I don't know, for those of you who are planner painters, I saw this branch in front of me, and this is exactly the way that it looked like, or whatever. It becomes more less dynamic, 
as if you put a little bit of your imagination in there. You know? So put a little bit of imagination. Even if you're painting plein air, even if you're painting in in uh, on site. It's my signature. It says badass. <laughs> And then you can even play with the leaves as well, right? You can even pretend that there's some... I mean, it's all really... It's just your imagination, you know? And this is how I start something before before I watercolor. I use watercolors. What I like about this, this pens, by the way, no one's paying me to talk about this pens. Someone should probably. But what I like about this pens is that the, when, you, when you apply the watercolor, they don't bleed. The ink doesn't bleed. You apply water on this. And this is, I think it's, if it's not 300, it's 140 pound um, watercolor paper. It's really cool. It's just the right weight. You don't you don't need it to be much heavier than this. Look at that. You know, I was doing some other stuff over here. Let me show you. Or earlier, I was working on some. You know, just some little some little drawings. It's never, it's never too late for art. Yeah. And it sort of relaxes me too. Like after a, after a day of, of painting and creating artwork um, on a larger scale, I do a lot of large canvases and different stuff. This also keeps my creative juices flowing. You know? And then who knows, maybe I'll... I'll leave them the way they are, or I'll put watercolor on them. Either way, they're super fun to do. I do about, I don't know, 20 to 30 of this any given day. And and it keeps my, my creativity flowing, you know? I'm not stuck with... Um, the way things should be. Right, let's do a little landscape, a little marshland here. You guys ready? Here we go, okay. Good. Make sure that there's water when it goes down. A little marshland. Look. Let's put a little little bush right here. And then some reflections. A little bush right here. Some reflections. There's another bush. And then there's some uh, cattail or some some uh, some uh, grass or something, you know. Get out. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some um, moving some clouds. Here we go, okay? Some large clouds. Look at that. And of course, because clouds are fluffy on top, they're sitting on something, right? Supposedly, that's the illusion. They're sitting on something. Um, let's make them sit on something darker here. Look, because this is this creates the visual weight. Right? They're sitting on something.
there's a little marshland. Let's see, let's let's even create more uh, distance. There, just a little bit more distance. Oh, maybe there it is. Now there's different ways of doing it. This is more. It's still loose, right? But it's a little bit more. Uh, the lines are more uh, strong, right? It's stronger. It's more like. Where this is definitely more loose, right? It's just squiggly lines. Uh, there's a thousand ways of doing this. Yeah. This is how I do this. You can see. I hope. And it, it keeps you moving, you know, it keeps you moving. If it keeps you moving, it's probably a good thing. All right, guys. Got to go take care of some other stuff. But I hope that you enjoyed this little segment, this little video. All right. Talk to you soon. Take care.